Hey guys, welcome back to Docs at Five's Guide to Minecraft. Today we are going into my, the world of Minecraft Realms, a great way to play with friends. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and comment what else you want to see in the series. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, this is going to be fun after last episode. So, Minecraft Realms is a way to play with uh, your friends in Minecraft. You start a realm, and then anyone you get the realm ID to can join. Anyone can join and, and at any time with realms, and can be in the, at any world. Realms cost about $8 for 30 days at a time on both editions. Although Java Realms and Bedrock Realms cannot be accessed from the other edition, it is also two different purchases. After a one-month trial, the payments start rolling in. So now, many normal Minecraft gamers do not own realms for its pricey cost over time. After a year, you nearly pay $100 for realms. Realms is a great, if you want a private world that all of your friends can access at any time, but you don't, if you don't use it regularly, it's not worth it. How Minecraft Realms works is that your world is hosted on a server, and that's kind of why you need to pay. Now, as far as I know, the only person, only one person needs to own the realms in order for everybody to be able to play on it. It's because you need the, oh, you need, so basically, if you purchase realms, you can make realms, but you cannot, and you can play on others, but if you have not paid, you only can play on other realms. So, unless you're going to be paying a lot of money, then Minecraft Realms is not really worth it for you. Let me know what you want to know about Minecraft so I can cover in this series, which will be coming out every week. And make sure to leave your support in the comment section below, and make sure to leave a like, because I really want to, I need to know that you guys want to keep seeing this, because I do put a lot of effort into these. Subscribe and ring that bell for future content. Yeah.